Liquor store owners have been at the center of the Sunday sales debate. So we wanted to know what those owners and you think of the new law. News Channel 15's Chris Darby did some research today and joins us now from Studio 15 with what he found out. Chris. Yeah, Brian Heather, I talked with people from Belmont Beverage, Cap and Cork, Gay's Hops and Shops, and S&V Liquors all seemed optimistic about the big change. All their stores will be open on Sundays. Also opening on Sundays, Decatur Package Liquor. It's a standalone liquor store, not a chain. A big concern for liquor stores in this debate was the ability to staff a store an additional day of the week. Joel Massoff tells me his coolers and signs already run on Sundays. His electric bill won't be much more. He also has employees ready to pick up those extra hours. It'll be a big change, um, you know, and I think we're ready for it. Uh, you know, just hearing from the customers um, that they're so excited about it makes me excited, you know, so and, and that's what we're here to do is to please the customers. So, you know, it's going to make them happy. It's going to, um, you know, save some trips to Ohio. I wanted to know your thoughts on Sunday sales. On a Facebook poll at last check, about 1,300 of you said you would take advantage of the law. About 600 would not. On Twitter, I asked if you were to buy alcohol on Sundays, where would you do it? About 40% said at a liquor store, 60% would be adding it to the grocery store list. Now, the legal hours for Sunday alcohol sales are noon to 8 p.m. The operations manager at Belmont Beverage stressing to me, it's important to be aware of the time when you are shopping. Even if you're in the store, you cannot buy alcohol if you get to the register after 8 o'clock. In Studio 15, Chris Darby, News Channel 15.